know what I mean? You're gonna be fine. It's just like a post-match interview, except you'll be sitting down and not sweating. Well, you'll be sitting down anyway. Here, Michael. Is it true that the club's offered Alex a new contract? It's priority number one now, Jim. Might even have a few surprises for him if we're lucky. Oh, good, good. Just as long as Alex isn't worried. All that matters to him now is a new season. It's not just about the new season, Jim. It's got to be the deal that sets him up for life. <laughs> you know, I, I wish Harold had had someone like you. I really do. <laughs> You'll be fine, love. Just be yourself. Well, that's easy for you to say. It's real Ferdinand. And you're Alex Hunter. Alex. Hey. Thanks for coming out, man. Mate, nice to meet you. No problem. Look, I'm sorry to be a bit of a fanboy, but I used to watch you growing up as a kid. You, Giggsy, Ronaldo. I never imagined being here with you in front of the cameras. You trying to make me feel old? Nah. Let's get you set up, man. Come on. I'm Alex Hunter. This is Once to Watch. When you look back to where you were 12 months ago, without a professional contract, then you smash an exit trial and find a club. And today, you're a Premier League champion and FA Cup finalist in your debut season. Tell me when. When did you get the smell, you know? And when did you get a sense that this was going to be a special season? It's been amazing, yeah. Dream come true. I can hardly believe I'm sitting here talking to you about it. You know, I just love playing football. <laughs> That's all I know how to do. <laughs> but don't tell anyone that. <laughs> okay. It kind of helps when you've got the game in your blood. I mean, Jim Hunter, obviously a club legend. What a player. But Harold Hunter, your father, decent player too, eh? I heard that he came in after the FA Cup final. Is that true? Um... First time I'd seen him since he left, moved to the States eight years ago. Have you seen much of him since? To be honest, he's, he's just not a part of my life. My mom, my granddad, they're my family. To be honest, I really rather not be talking about Harold. And another big part of you coming up was um, your old boyhood mate, Gareth. Gareth Walker. A great rival there between the two of you now. Tell me if this is a load of rubbish, but I heard things got a little bit scrappy between you two towards the end. Is that right? Yeah, um, there's a lot of history there. We used to play football in the street together when we were kids, joined our first youth club together, signed for the same professional team. But... It's hard. Everything changed. We were 17, just left home. Suddenly, your whole life gets turned upside down. And you gotta work out pretty quickly who you can trust and who you can't. In the end, I guess everyone reacts to pressure differently. Look. I think Gaz and I put a lot of stuff behind us after the FA Cup final. Maybe we both grew up a bit. But don't get me wrong, there's still a healthy rivalry there. Even when we were kids, we used to try and constantly outscore each other. Listen, so who would usually win then? The main thing is, our rivalry always came second. We always put the team first. If we played together again, I'm sure it'd be the same. So, Alex Hunter? Thanks for coming, man, and talking to us today. Good luck on the new season. Cheers. And cut. So that's it, man. We're done. Well, good job, mate. Where'd you get your questions from? And that was intense. Listen, we're just getting to the real stuff. That's what you want. But you did good, man. It was nice. 
All right. Well, good luck in the new season, man. <laughs> All right, mate. Up next. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're uh, the ones to watch, eh? Mr. Hunter, Mrs. Hunter. It's been a while. Can't remember the last time you called me, Mrs. Hunter. Yeah, well, uh, only seems right. Things have changed a bit, haven't they? They certainly have. We'll be outside, Alex. Top class, Alex, as expected. Gareth, didn't know they had you for this. Why would you? Won't be my agent since that mess of a transfer, have you? Yeah, well, it's, uh, business is unpredictable, you know it is. Yeah, well, uh, I've got to run. Good work today, yeah? See you later. Mate, you're not still with that guy, are you? Of course, man, why not? Always done right by me. Yeah, well, you're one of the few. What's that supposed to mean? Listen, mate, on the level, just ask around. Taylor, he's a bit of a joke. He's a big part of my transfer blowing up the way it did. Oi, Gaz, you ready to go, mate? Guess that's me. It's good to see you, bruv. <laughs> All right. Good to see you, man. You too. Great job last season. Thanks very much. Hello, everyone. You all right? Bus. Might be nice to pick up some silverware on this tour. Get out of here. You have to earn it first, on sir. All we have to do is beat Real Madrid in the semis, then either LA Galaxy or Bayern Munich in the final. What could be easier? Sequoia? Something you wish to tell us, mon ami? Seems Lily here believes everything he reads. He still thinks the moon landings were filmed in a movie studio. Wake up, shipper. <laughs> if the day comes when I decide to leave, you will all know about it first, not the press. And when will that be? Center, right? You look good last season, kid. Cheers. Have a good match. Yeah, yeah, you too. Uh, swap shirts after the game? I will see what I can do. Martin Tyler here with you again, along with Alan Smith, of course. We have got the semi-final of the International Club Cup for you. And it is Manchester United against Real Madrid. Great rivalry there. And the winners will face either Bayern Munich or LA Galaxy in the final. Well, these are big, big clubs we're talking about. And uh, you want to win such a competition, even though it's only pre-season. I say only. It's a prestigious competition, this, and a great way to kick off the season. This is the Real Madrid lineup. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to 
come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. This is then the Manchester United lineup. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. And once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous. And... He's got his shot off now. It's a corner coming up yet again. Trying to catch the opposition out with a short corner. Challenges for the ball. Gross. That's how to tackle. Fogba. What about this for a shot? Optimistic. It's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. They've gone short with the corner. Cleared away by the defender. Offside here, and it's Hunter. Antonio Valencia. Every time Manchester United play, they're expected to win. That puts on this. Martial! And they've scored! And they've opened the scoring here. This is high class taking of a goal chance. He's got so much subtlety to his game. Always produces when the pressure's on. Marvellous for Manchester United, they are in front. Tony Kroos. Karim Benzema. Attacking well here. Good defending. Bernard. Hunter. It's out, it'll be a throw. Here's Martial. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Makes a challenge here. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. Could really get at the opposition here. Modric. will be their throw. Bernard. Here's Hunter. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Martial. Crossed by Martial. Rafael Varane. This International Club Cup grows in importance every season. It's a bit different to when you were playing, Alan. There's a lot of focus now on the players. They are preparing their bodies, aren't they, for what lies ahead. But they're expected to win these games too. Well, they are, aren't they? I mean, we used to do it out of the glare of... Uh... It's a quick break. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Pogba. Hunter. Space out on the wing that Manchester United are using very positively. Bale. Karim Benzema. Carvajal. Towards Bale. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. That's what the goalkeepers are hoping to get all the game, really. Simple saves like that for Kilo Navas. Well, that is the half-time whistle in the semi-final, and they go in with a one-goal advantage here. Yeah, more of the same from them.
time now for the second half to start. Bale. Real Madrid looking good here. And they've cut it out. Here's Martial. Alex Hunter. Carvajal. Well, he's pressed him there to running the ball out of play. Hunter. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Now Casimiro. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. The ball with Gaio. chance for Hunter to make some ground here. Hunter turned aside there by the keeper. Corner for Manchester United. The Qatarian's corner defended well. Yeah, it's gone out of play and it will be a throw from that uh, headed clearance. We're going to see a change here for Real Madrid. Here's Martial. Hunter. Here's Mkhitaryan. It's Alex Hunter. Here's the chance. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target and they're away with the ball. Good forward play from them. Benzema. Bale. Pulls it back now. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. And Ronaldo. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Here's Isco. Benzema. Neatly intercepted. Fogba. Now Hunter. Now this looks promising. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Hunter. This is how they love to play on the break. Going for goal! Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Modric. Here's Isco. Tony Kroos. Sergio Ramos. Kamaha played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Strong challenge. Isco! Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. That's a weary-looking piece of play from him. Impressive attacking play here from Manchester United. Well, the whistle's gone, it's a foul. It's a free kick in a useful position late in the game. Well, that's late. He's going to have to get booked for that, I'm sure. Yeah, a silly challenge. And, uh, you know, if he ends up getting sent off, he's only got himself to blame. Keep his ball. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. United moving smoothly through midfield. work really to read the intention of the pass room to exploit for United here in the wider areas well, 
they've got to chase back because with the turnover in possession, they could be vulnerable. Full-time whistle. And they've made it through to the final of the International Club Cup. Yeah, and what a marker they've laid down here, beating Real Madrid. That means something. Whatever class of competition you're playing in, so that will really help the boys. If you watch EA TV tomorrow, you'll be able to see who they'll play in the final as Bayern Munich take on LA Galaxy. Well, it doesn't matter how you win a semi-final, it's just that you win, and they have this great result. Yeah, all about getting over the line. Nobody remembers losing semi-finalists, but they are the winners. Played. Hey, you're really starting to make a name for yourself. Maybe you should come play for Real. <laughs> that means a lot coming from you, man. Ronaldo knows a good player when he sees one. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that,